Good morning, everyone. Today I want to talk with you about pretty specific and uh, old technology called Angular JS, and uh, really specific topic about what um, should you do if your app is running on Angular JS? Should you migrate? Should you keep it working on Angular JS? And we'll just discuss advantages and disadvantages of both of that uh, ways. So let's jump into it. So a lot of times uh, I'm getting a request from people who are like saying, oh, Alex, I have my app working on Gallo.js and that company suggested me to rewrite everything for Angular and what do you think about it? And it depends, it really depends on a lot of factors which you can have or which you cannot have. And let's just, you know, discuss all of them. So let's take a short look into history. So AngularJS was released in 2010, and from that time it's more than 10 years, you know, which that technology is working. And Angular was released in 2016. Answering your question, why they released Angular, uh, which is pretty different from AngularJS, uh, because, uh, of course, uh, a big company, call it Google, basically, which is uh, creating the um, Angular and improving it every day. They have a competition on the market with React and Vue and any other JavaScript libraries and frameworks. And they saw that after a while working with AngularJS, they saw that uh, it's not so fast as React. They saw that there's some problems with structuring the project and etc. etc. And they're like, oh, there is TypeScript, let's make a new framework on some specific base of AngularJS, but with new language and release it and give it name Angular. And of course, they make it. So now I propose to uh, discuss advantages and disadvantages if you want to keep using AngularJS these days. So let's start by advantages. And the first one, of course, is about that you have a big app running into the technology and it's stable, it's working nice, and if you have an idea to write it, of course, you should keep in mind that it will be a new box, it will be a new regression testing, you need to have a QA people to test it properly, etc, etc, etc. So it will be a lot of other headache. And of course, the advantage is that you have stabilized it, you have fully tested it now, and it's working. The second point about that you don't need to spend money for migration because you are working with it right now. If you need more new features, you just you know pay your developers for uh, that kind of scope, and you're happy. Your business is happy. All is fine. And the third one, of course, is that you can still work with your teammates and with your team and you don't need to hire any other new people because they have that specific skills with AngularJS and they can support you and etc, etc, whatever you want. And now we come into disadvantages and of course uh, the number of them are bigger than advantages, but of course it's always, you know, you are taking the decision. So the first disadvantage is about old technology and less people on the market. Of course, technology is more than 10 years and now if you will open any job listing uh, platform and will type just Angular, you will see that 95% of all jobs are connected to Angular 2 plus and not to AngularJS and maybe like just 5% for AngularJS. And of course, it's harder to find them, first point, and the secondly, that people don't basically want to work with Angular JS because it's all technology. They understand that it will be like a lot of legacy code. It will be something not from scratch because every developer wants to have something from scratch. And they hate legacy, you know. The second one is about Angular 2 Plus is faster and you can use TypeScript. About faster is clear about TypeScript, an amazing technology. We can basically be more powerful than typical JavaScript and more strict way of coding. But of course, um, 
you can cover uh, more functionality, make it less like buggy. So yeah, it was the second point about disadvantage. The third point is about more specific um, puzzle of Angular uh, 2 plus uh, framework, kind of like uh, Angular CLI or, or kind of like support for React programming or any other like, like components or whatever. There is a ton of them and I just, you know, the technology is more modern itself. It's giving you a new ways of coding it, making more structurized it, make it more clear for other people to understand. And the last one is of course about that support. When you're choosing any technology, first of all, which you should take into your consideration is about how long that company will take support for the technology. And about AngularJS, as I know, they trying to cover it by 2021, kind of. And the last version is 1.7, probably. And I think that it will not be new updates for AngularJS itself. And about support, it just will go down. And less people will know it, less people will support it, and it will become more and more risky in each day uh, for your business. By the way, if you are thinking to migrate your app from AngularJS to Angular, our company will be able to help you with that one. Take a look on the link and uh, someone will have a call with you about that. Okay, so let's make a short summary. So if you have some money to make an immigration now, definitely recommend you to start, me, uh, to start migration from AngularJS to Angular. If you don't have a money now, and uh, please keep going with your app, but please keep into your head that it will become more risky every day to go with that pretty old technology and less people know how to work with it and less support will be in the meantime. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, and if you have some more comments or you want to add something, go to comment section below and uh, write down all your answers or feedbacks, whatever. We definitely appreciate all of them and will answer personally. Have a nice day and talk to you soon. Bye.